Hey everyone! Hey, how you doing? Hey, have you guys ever wondered what Quartzsite Arizona is all about? Or have you ever wondered what an escaper's convergence is like? Well, follow us along, you'll see. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie We're taking our motor home around the country Throughout North America, we're on the road It's Pow on a Travels, here we go What is this? This is uh, your flag. Awesome. There. Oh, it's the turn on the other way. Yeah, that's the, the dolor side. Hey, hold on to that. Yay. Should we glisten it with beer? Just pour it. Yeah, there you go. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, well, let's go fly this thing. I'll let's go. fly let's it. Let's up right now. All right. Raise that baby. We're official. It means a lot to us. They are recognized, they're in the RV Hall of Fame, and they're also recognized as one of the top 100 people, RV influential people in the industry, so. Hey everyone, it's Stacy and Gary and Sonia and Rhonda. And we are day three of our Escapers Convergence. And today we are headed back to the Desert Bar. If you remember, uh, back in November, we were at the Desert Bar. You can check out our video from that trip. I'll put a link down below. But hopefully we have better luck on the road. Oh, we will. But we've got a group of five rigs behind us and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun today, so stay tuned. Five miles in, and we are almost there. Hey, here we are again, Desert Bar. Another successful trip. Yeah, it's been a great time. We got a really great group of people here with us. I don't know, what, 30, 40 people with our, with our RV group. Yeah, our really pretty cool. Yep, good food, good drink, good beer, so, uh, good people. Food. Now we get to uh, make it out of here in one piece. Today will be one piece, yes. Yes. It's, it's an easy road. I said that earlier already. The road's easier, <laughs> so I'm not too worried about getting out of here. One more desert bar experience done! One more to go! 
Today is day four of our Escapers Convergence in Quartzsite, Arizona, and today on the schedule we are touring RV. So while we go around, I'm going to take some footage, if allowed, and just show you different examples of how people live and work in their RVs on the road. As far as what I like and what I don't like, I really don't like not having more windows on this side. And it was something, you know, when you buy a rig, you're like checking the seats, and you're checking the pantries, and you're checking all that. Never thought, hey, there's no view over here. So that was Because in the amazing. lot, all you see is the, the, you're not, the rig next to you. Yeah, so. and you're kind of like, oh, there's windows. And I just didn't realize that this was really a, a dead zone. Here's the workstation. <laughs> All important bar. That's important. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's awesome. Here is Elvis from Spot the Scots. Okay, this is every girl's dream that lives in an RV to have this much space for your makeup, your jewelry, computer space. But then the guys, look at what they have. Blah, blah, blah. Three screens plus your tablet. That is an amazing workspace. See, this is my dream. Oh, <laughs> my wardrobe. Yeah, so that is the front <laughs> bathroom, it's bathroom. <laughs> converted <laughs> into a closet. Francesca, <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Francesca, now that is the best modification ever. Thank you. Okay, next is a toy hauler, the Cyclone. I'm really excited to see this. All right, welcome to Fifth Wheel Living. Yes. Come on in. Check out the tub. <laughs> There's a hot tub. We got a cat somewhere in here. A kitten is buried in there. Here's Christy with Spot the Scots. Hi. I'm in my natural habitat, which is the place where you do dishes. Yes. <laughs> I don't do the cooking, I do the dishes. <laughs> what a kitchen, though. Wow. There's a lot of seating. Oh, my goodness. So our Convergence has over 60 rigs here, so we're not going to see them all, but I'm definitely making the rounds or attempting to. This is what it looks like. So this is a garage. Wow. They've converted to an office. Have an upper bunk ready for guests or kids, maybe. Actually, I think it's where they sleep. The back room the baby. Oh. So they have a nice party porch. There's the disco off in the distance. Really cool. Oh, thank you. Nice, nice. Oh, look at the big fridge. I am so jealous. Uh, washer and dryer, like us. I really like this kitchen layout. Eating area for the family. And then up here, I guess, is where the kids' room is. I love your bedroom, Ellie. I love your bedroom. Do you like it? You have lots of play space, huh? Very cool. Thank you for sharing your house. You're welcome. Like I want to be able to go back and say, oh, this is exactly what my family was doing on this day. And like that documentation is really important. It's awesome yeah. for your kids too. Right, right. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Hi guys! Hello! It's day seven, uh, Thursday of our Escapers Convergence. In Courtside, Arizona. And today we went and dump and filled. Well, it's seven or eight days. Tuesday, uh, Thursday, eight Well, days. officially we are on day seven of, of the a convergence. convergence. But we've been here for eight we've days. We've been here uh, longer anyway, than that. Anyway, we took a while to fill. I uh, took a while to dump. Them. So, we took care of the shitty stuff. And now, Mr. Gary here. Eh is gonna help our good friend Eric who's with right there at the of our door light wondering where net. the hell we are. There's, There's Eric. Eric. Hi. Hi. Where's so, my co-host? I'm just saying I'm we're coming. Just a second. So we're gonna head over to his rig and give a talk on solar power. Yes, so we are. all right, let's go over there. Go solar! How oh, on. So with, with your generator use, I'm guessing you have a, refri a residential refrigerator in there? <coughs> hey, this is Trinkles on Tour for your Quartzsite Escapers weekend weather forecast. Well, after an anxiety-inducing windstorm last night that sent many campers not only running for Xanax, but their chairs and barbecues, we do get a little break today. Thank you for watching Powhana Travels. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below to let us know or leave us a comment. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up with our next Pauhana Adventures of Life. Until next time, Pauhana. <laughs>